Well, 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 look who's back. It's only me, and we're gonna be finishing off the kitchen. I actually did a lot of work, and I didn't film any of it, because I was feeling like I should be doing more work and less filming. But anyway, I'll show you quickly what has been done. Up here, we got the lovely overhead cabinet. As you can see, we got a nice little thing that holds stuff. Stop stuff from falling off. As I don't know yet, yeah, radio. Up here we got some cabinets. Da -na 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 -na. And then here we've got a lovely little light. Ding! Whoa! And then over in this corner we got some pull-out drawers, which are just gonna be pantry stuff. Got two of them. Bang 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 bang. We build a lovely window frame. Got the wall all in, and then we move down to here. Oh, we got this little spice rack. I'm guessing it's what, what's gonna be. Got a nice little roof on it. And then we got another little drawer just above the fridge. And then we got this big storage area. Whoop, it's gonna be pots and pans, whatever. And then we got three little drawers just down here. You're gonna be saying, what are you doing in this video then? Pretty much it's done. I'll be showing you how to build some of this stuff. So I'm gonna be building some doors for this little section and we're gonna be making it all nice and I'll show you how I do them. So what's the plan for the doors you say? Well, I don't really know. The theme of this van is like mid-century church kind of style. So I wanna build them pretty epic, like church doors, all thick wood, rounded edges and little frames inside. I'm not sure what exactly we're going to go with, so we'll probably just build it as we go along. But I reckon something like that. But before we build the doors, we got to build the frames that it sits on. Let's do it! With our builds, we always want to make our furniture looking crazy and extra. And we try and avoid them from looking like we just bought them from Ikea. We absolutely hate Ikea furniture. But if you like it, that's all good. That's just a personal preference. But it takes a long time for us to build all of the furniture because obviously we've got to spend days and days making doors or drawers or the faces. So it's a long process. But it's definitely worth it when we step back and look at everything that's been made and put together and all the little touches that we put here, there and everywhere. And obviously if we're making all the furniture then we can tailor whatever we want to whatever size we want which you just can't do if you're buying furniture. But anyway, enough negativity about flat pack furniture. And more about tools. Now if you are building all of your furniture, there's a few tools which might come in very handy as you've seen. And I know tools are very expensive, and I know that we spent a lot of money on the table saw, but I would 100% recommend using a table saw because you can make everything square, everything straight, and life is a breeze. We used to make all of our furniture just with a cirque saw and just making a little guide so that we cut straight, but it wasn't really the most productive way to do it, and it took a lot of time setting everything up, measuring everything. So a table saw is a must have, I reckon. And you can pick some up cheap that cut straight lines, and they will definitely do the job. I just wanted to be a little bit fancy and treat myself for once in my life. Tool number two that I would definitely recommend is a nail gun. We're just using a little 32mm Brad gun and it is ripper. It saves pre-drilling screws and drilling them in which took a lot of time in our previous fans and obviously we had the screws exposed on the faces which we don't mind, we don't think they look terrible but I think with the nail gun the nail is being hidden a little bit better, makes it a lot nicer. And it is so much more time saving, so you got more time with your life to do stuff. Like kicking a football, or playing with a kite, or clicking a pen. Another tool which I'd recommend, but obviously it isn't a crazy must, would be a router. Now I love the router. It's one of my favourite tools. We use it to tongue and groove everything. We use it to make nice edges on the faces of everything. I pretty much use it all the time. And I cannot leave one face untouched from a router. But they are my tool selections for making cabinetry and furniture. 
they just make life a lot easier and you get the job done twice as fast. Well fancy that eh? The frames are done. I added these corner pieces which I didn't film but they're basically just little slithers of wood rounded off the edges, cut 45s and then just done some stuff, nail gunned it in, stained it and they're in. Time to build the doors. If that isn't the water tank. Alrighty, what measurement are we going for the doors? Let's have a look. 666. Now, as you guys know, we are a sucker for pallet wood. We love the fact that you can just drive on down the road, find a piece of wood, pick it up, put it in your car, it's free. And with a little loving, it's all ready to go. Obviously you have to put the work in, which involves planing the wood, straightening the wood, and either tongue and groove in the wood, or just keeping them as planks and using them as they are. But this process takes a long, long time, which we still think is worth doing, because the price of wood in the shop is pretty much more expensive than if you work out the time that you spend doing this to the lovely wood. I could go into the hardware shop, buy a plank of wood for $11, or I could plane and straighten these pieces of wood, and I could probably do 10 an hour. Which means, if I was on a minimum wage of let's say $25, that means each board would be $2.50, which is way cheaper. So if you're keen to do the hard, solid work of making this wood look pretty good and pretty up to standard of being sold in a shop, then I'd highly recommend it. Because all you're spending is time. And if it takes less time, then you're a winner. Just like me. Doors finished. Hinges put in. This is what they look like. Da 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 Actually right, so that is the kitchen cabinetry all done. I just finished off these drawers, just put a little face in them, routed the edges, but that is all done. We've also got this piece here, which I'm not sure where it goes. It was gonna go up here, but it looks a bit wrong. So leave a comment on where it should go. Should it go here? 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 And you're probably wondering, where is this little secret that you read about on the description? Well, this is it. Da -na -na. Secret key compartment. But anyway, that's it. I'm working on another video about the shower, so stay tuned with that. And I'm going to be starting another video on building the roof. I'm going to be building it exactly the same as one of our previous vans. We had a sunroof, so I'll be doing that again. And I'll show you how I did it. I might even make some plans for it that you can get online. But anyway, have a good life. See ya.